Hey you, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're already subscribed. If you want to learn how to create this fall makeup look, please keep watching. So we're going to start off by doing our eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Caramel. You guys can use whatever else you guys wish to use. Before I started using this color, I used to use the shade Ebony, but I thought that it was way too dark for my brows. I know I have black hair and everything and it matches and all, but I thought this color looked a lot more natural and it, it actually shows my brow hairs when I apply it. Not like the other one, they just disappeared <laughs> and it was just really dark. So I had to change it up so that it didn't look too exaggerated with my makeup. Next, we're going to be cleaning our brows. I'm going to be using my MAC foundation. You guys can use whatever you wish, whether it's foundation or concealer. I personally like to use my foundation because it looks a lot more natural blended to my skin. Now go ahead and take a flat brush and clean your brows. After you're done cleaning the bottom of your brow, take your beauty sponge and go ahead and pat it down on your lid so that it looks smooth and it's very blended. Now go ahead and apply your foundation. I like to put four dots on my face, one on my nose, my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin. Next, we're going to be going in with concealer and I'm using the Urban Decay concealer. You guys can use whatever you guys like to use. I'm going to conceal under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, on top of my lip, my chin, and my forehead. Next, I'm going to be applying my Urban Decay Loose Powder on those areas that we just concealed. Next, I'm going to be using my MAC foundation powder to set the rest of my face and I'm going to use a big fluffy brush to apply it. Once my face is all set, I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia brow gel just so I can keep all the little hairs in their place. This is the Vault by Morphe and Jacqueline and the palette we're going to be using from this is called Armed and Gorgeous.
This is what the inside of the palette looks like, you guys. We will be starting with this shade called Secure. We will be using a fluffy brush to apply this on our crease. Remember to blend in small circles and side to side movements so it looks a lot more smoky. Next, we will be going in with the shade Smooth Criminal, and we're going to be applying this shade on our outer corner of our eyes on the crease only. I didn't notice this before, you guys, even when I was doing my makeup, the name Smooth Criminal. Who loves Michael Jackson? Have you guys ever heard of that song? Let me know in the comments below. In order to get that smoky, blended look, you have to blend it out in circular motions. Remember, only on our crease, and it's okay if we go under our crease because we're going to be applying a different shade on there. Next, we're going to be going in with a smaller brush and we're going to be using this shade right here called Prowl. It is a darker brown and we're going to be applying this under our crease on that same outer corner right under Smooth Criminal. Next, take that first fluffy brush that you used with no product and we're going to be using this just to blend out the shade Secure and the shade Smooth Criminal so that we don't have any harsh lines and it looks smoky. Here's a closer look for my blending results so you guys can see how smooth it looks and blended. Next, take your concealer flat brush and we're going to be applying some concealer on our lid so we can do a light cut crease. Just a quick tip when you're applying concealer this way, it's easier if you tap on your lid when you're applying the concealer so that it gives you it gives you more control of the brush because I know that if you like drag the brush, it's a lot harder. Well, at least for me, it's a lot harder if I were to drag it. Next, I will be using my finger just to flatten out that concealer so that it doesn't get all cakey when we apply the eyeshadow on top. I don't know if you guys have had that experience with your eyeshadows where it gets all uh, 
crusty and, and cakey over the concealer so I like to flatten it out like this so it's a lot more smoother and it blends out with the eyeshadow that we applied on our outer corner. Now using a clean flat brush we're going to be applying the shade Guilt Trip right on top of that concealer we just put on our lid. Take any setting spray, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter one and we're going to be spraying our brush after we have grabbed some product so that it is easier to apply and we don't make a mess on our foundation. Next we're going to be using the shade Prawl and we're going to be using the exact same brush we used before with just a little bit of product so that we can blend that shade into Guilt Trip and it looks a lot smoother. Take that exact same brush with the shade Prawl and we're going to be applying this on our lower lash line as well, just with the leftover product. Next, we're going to be using the first brush we used with the shade Secure. Do not grab any product. We're just going to use what's left over on the brush to blend out the shade Prawl. Next, I'm going to be applying my Italia Deluxe Black Eyeliner. You guys can use whichever eyeliner you guys want. I prefer this one because it's very dark and it dries really fast. Next, I'm going in with my mascara from Wet n Wild Max Volume. You guys can use whatever you guys want. Just to give it one coat of mascara so that my eyelashes blend in with my fake eyelashes. These are the eyelashes I'm going to be using. They're called Bish Wet from K&J Lashes. If you guys are interested in purchasing these, they are only $7. And if you use my discount code, you will receive a free gift. It's Emily15. I will have this in the description down below. If you guys are interested, the website is right there. 
I am in no way getting paid for this promotion. All I did was receive these lashes for free and I love them so that's why I'm showing them to you guys. I was so excited to put these lashes on that I totally forgot about my lower lash line. So don't forget to apply your lower lash line mascara you guys. That's very important no matter how small they are they still count and they still make your eye color pop. These eyelashes are so pretty. My favorite thing about them is that they are very light. They're not heavy at all. They don't get your eyes all tired and red at the end of the day. So I highly recommend these. Next, I'm going in with my NARS palette and I'm going to be using this bronzer right here. I'm not going to be applying any brush or any highlighter because I want this to be on neutral colors and I only want the yellow on my eyelids to pop and stand out. I'm going to be applying this on my cheekbones and on my forehead just a little bit and also we're going to apply a little bit on our jawline so our face looks a lot more defined. Next, I'm going to be outlining my lips with Italia Deluxe, and this is in the shade Chocolate. Next, I'm going in with this lipstick by Maybelline in the shade Protector. You guys, this is, it specifically says on the lipstick, Super Stay Matte Ink. I've been obsessed with these lipsticks since they came out because they do not come off. It takes a very long time for them to come off. And I can drink water, kiss my boyfriend, stuff like that, etc. <laughs> and it will not come off. This is the final look you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching.